friends in this video we are going to talk about how to override template file there are two ways to override template file the first one is in your module directory and the second one is in your theme directory now how to do this that we are going to see in this video so let's come to my computer screen this is the theme created the which is simply my theme now in this theme we can see that app design front end my theme is created and only the logo has been updated rest are completely blank the necessary files are only been created now the point is let's say there is a requirement that we need to modify this content so what we'll do we will simply enable the template hints to know exactly from where this content is coming now this content can be seen in template file so first we will need to travel to store configuration and then we'll travel to advanced developer and here is a debug so template hints is equal to magento you can see here this is a magento text appearing and you can see the templates is equal to this is the message you should write in the url and in the parameter magento so that's why when we hit this url you can see that every content on this page is showing the template file so this content is coming from this file then logo is also appearing from this file so every content shows is template file the same way when we are overriding or when we want to change this message it's showing here from which file the message appearing so vendor magento module newsletter view front end templates and the subscribe.phtml is the actual file from where this content is appearing so let's travel over there vendor magento then module newsletter we'll travel to view front end templates in the templates directory is the subscribe.phtml so this file you need to create now in your theme so that you can override so app design front end this is my theme name and here exactly the way it is there you no know, module hyphen newsletter so that folder i'm going to create in my theme new folder magento underscore exact spelling should be there no spelling mistakes then view so in module we generally give view front end templates but here in the theme we directly give templates so in the templates now you can see this folders has been created right now here i will create the same file which was there subscribe.php so exact file name i need to give so what i will do i will simply copy this content from the core file you can see vendor magento and then we'll put it in my theme and let me change the message instead of enter your email address we can write please enter presenter so rest is same just i added please here in the message okay now let me save this file in this templates directory same name as it was in core file subscribe.php and it should be in your theme so you can see this is appearing we have already changed the message and the last step which is left is only to clear a cache we will try to clear a cache here php bin magento cpnf you can see here cache has been flushed now let's travel to browser and let's refresh to see our changes perfect you can see after refresh it is reflecting our file now app design front end the which is simply this is and this is the file and you can see here the message also been changed so this is how we can simply do it the theme see how it is easy to override template file in your theme directory now i have already created video on how to override template file in the module directory i will put link in the description do watch it and keep learning
थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग द कुछ जैसे भी सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो